Mom! Wow, what do you think? Are you ready to see me after a whole night of wearing this fake tan? <laughs> hey, me icons! So, I think about a week ago now, I tried using a fake tan and I did it myself. Did it come out okay? Well, you guys will have to go watch that video. I'm not going to say too much about the result of that because you guys should go watch it if you haven't already. That was like something new for me because I have never really seen myself with a tan before because as you guys can see I am super super pale. I'm a redhead so just like naturally I have always been pale for my basically my whole life. I've never really had like a proper tan. Naturally like this is my tan. My tan. <laughs> this isn't a tan but this is how I look when I go in the sun. When I don't go in the sun then I look like a ghost. So today we are going to be doing something a bit interesting I'm going to be getting hopefully by the end of this video I will have a lovely golden tan I may end up looking like a tomato really hope that that doesn't happen I don't feel like that's gonna happen but you never know miracle today I'm going to be getting a spray tan done professionally when I did my fake tan before it was obviously I did it myself it was one of those ones that you put on and then you have to wait a while for it to develop however I don't feel like it's gonna be like this today I feel like when the lady puts it on me it's gonna be like immediately I have a tan and then maybe as I wait a bit then it may even get darker I'm not sure how it's gonna be like what type of tan this is going to be but I feel like this is gonna be like a big transformation because it's gonna be very interesting miracle so yes I don't have makeup on at the moment because obviously when she does the spray tan she is going to be putting it all over my body including my face hopefully that way my neck won't be like five shades darker than my face because that would not be a good look. I am quite nervous for this. She's coming in half an hour. Thank you, mom, for booking this. So mom basically, the other day, she booked me for getting a fake tan and the lady is going to be coming to my house and then she is going to be doing the spray tan on me. I have never done this before. I don't know anything about what I needed to do. So yesterday I exfoliated and I shaved in the shower yesterday before I went to bed. So my skin is all nice and clean and smooth and ready but I'm not gonna be able to shower for a couple of days and then also the main thing that I'm nervous for when you get like a fake tan you obviously want it to be all over your body I'm probably gonna have to be half naked it is her job like she's obviously I guess you could say a beautician and it is her job so I don't think it's gonna be too weird but it may be like slightly getting out of my comfort zone if you know what I mean I don't know where she's gonna do it to me how I literally have no clue about this do not know what to expect which kind of in a way makes me more nervous nervous. Hopefully by the end of this video I have a lovely tan. I don't know if this one is going to wash off. With the last one that I did it just basically washed off straight away when I went in the shower which I was kind of a little bit disappointed about because I kind of liked having a tan. So hopefully I can get my tan back and it can look really nice again. I don't know I feel like this is probably going to be more dramatic but this one is going to probably be even more dramatic because I don't know I feel like this is probably going to last longer as well. Let's just get straight on to this. So the lady who's going to be doing my spray tan has now arrived and she's now setting up everything. So this is the tent that I'm going to be inside so everything doesn't get ruined. And this is all of the equipment. Looks very interesting. Do I look different? I do look really different. So at the moment I'm just wearing this top very loosely and these loose shorts so that I don't mess up the tan. Wow, I look really tan. This is crazy. That was really easy. Thank you so much for it. I really, really love it. What do you call it? Is it called a hoover? It looks like a hoover. This sprayed onto me and then it sprayed all of the like tan on me and then once that was all applied all over my body then we just had to dry it and that was really easy. I thought like that maybe it might take some time but it was really quick wasn't it? But yeah I'm surprised about that. That was really fun. Bye thank you. Okay so I just said bye to the lady. She was really nice. It wasn't like weird or anything to she like I basically just wore my pants and that was it and it wasn't like weird. I guess it's kind of like you know when you go to the doctor it's like their job so you just kind of have to like okay well this is their job it's not really anything weird. I like it, but it's very different guys comment down below what you think of this the lady said that I have to wait two hours like two or three hours and then I have to shower to wash it off I think because at the moment it's feeling very wet so I don't obviously want to like really touch many things but yeah that was so easy and quick I thought it was gonna take like a while or it's gonna be like quite I don't know complicated in a way but it was really easy basically I'll go through step three step what happened so first of all um, I had to go in the tent and then I took off my clothes she put some moisture
moisturizer on my hands on like my knees and my elbows and my feet just to make sure that they're nice moisturized because the rest of your body's like usually moisturized but then those areas can be quite dry I had to put these feet things on as well stop it going on the bottom of my feet I guess also when I walk around the house now that is not all on my, the bottom of my feet so I don't mess up everywhere she just got like mixed up the concoction <laughs> or mixed up the spray tan in the hoover sort of thing it looked like a hoover anyways and it kind of acted like a hoover except for it sprayed out rather than sprayed in if you know what I mean she just started spraying it on me and she had to like spray it all over my body and she was really nice with it because she like really spent a long time on it. well not like that long but like she really um made sure that she got everywhere all over my body and then she also like sometimes it would like be a bit splotchy and then she would have to get a bit of tissue and then like streaky sometimes it would streak and then she'd get a bit of tissue and like fix up the streaking after all it was all on my body she made me go have a look in the mirror and tell me and say whether I liked it and I really liked it I think it's really really dark and then basically she did something different with the hoover and then it started like blowing hot air because when she was blowing the actual spray tan on me it was actually quite cold so then after that she when she put like the hot air to dry it that was nice and warm because at first it was like oh this is cold and then I was getting a little bit cold and then she blowed hot air on me and then I was like oh this is lovely and warm so it was kind of interesting and then once it was all dry basically it was done and it was really easy and super quick like that mom oh, what do you think Beautiful, I haven't shown the Mia concert properly can you hold the camera okay, please? Yeah. wow Obviously, I've got these wow but you look so, is this the colour that it's going to be or will it develop more? I'm not sure. She didn't say, I think this will be the colour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to shower in two hours, she said. In two, oh, we're going to be going out for brunch now. Oh, you okay. literally, I you smell if, like biscuits. I, I know, it smells amazing. Out about you. Can you remember the other day when you and mum had face masks on? Yeah. And Carmen was really freaked out about mum. Weren't you? Wow, the legs look so brown. Well, obviously we're indoors. No! Look, you almost match. <laughs> you match Sienna now. It's like a running joke that I'm super pale, but then Sienna is super tan. Yay! Yay! It looks, it looks absolutely mental. You really yeah. smell vanilla and biscuit. What did it feel like then, Mia? Because it was cold. Were you naked? Yeah, half naked. I only had pants on. What, your pants or did they provide some? My pants. It was kind of like a bit weird at the first, at first I was like, um, this like, I didn't really know what to make of it. But then I just realized it's just kind of like going to the doctor and it, I guess it's like her job and she Yeah, made. and she's it's a not, female as well. Yeah, like, it's not really like weird. Yeah. So that was good. I and mean, when, when you're it older- well, sprayed on, it was actually really cold. Yeah, I can remember, because I've had spray tans before, haven't yeah. I? Because <laughs> you've obviously had your hair lightened as well. Like when you yeah. go outside, you're going to look super tan and super blonde. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it looks so different. It's going to develop overnight, I think as well. This is yeah. like the color, the instant color, and it also helps her like apply it. It's like a guide, yeah. but then like tomorrow morning, I reckon it'll develop more. Really? Yeah. Okay. It'll probably, it might be a bit more browner and it just depends because everybody goes a different colour because it depends on how your skin reacts to the chemicals. Yeah, so that was a really nice experience. It wasn't weird. Like the main thing I was nervous about is obviously having to be, I guess, like half naked, but it wasn't weird. I guess it was kind of like a bit getting out of my comfort zone. I don't know if I'll do this again. Maybe for like a special occasion. I may get this done before. Yeah. Again. But I think special occasion. Yeah. Then but I don't think it'll be like a regular thing. I think it was a bit of an experiment, wasn't it? It was an experiment. Did See how it went. They wanted to know what you'd look like with a spray tag. Didn't yeah. You? By the way, it makes your eyes a little more blue and your teeth yeah. more white. I did notice that when I looked earlier, it does make my teeth more white, but I didn't notice about my yeah, it eyes. Makes your eyes look more of a sparkly blue. Oh, that's really cool. I like yeah. that then. Oh my goodness. Okay, Mia Cos, I'm gonna tell you what has happened. Can you guys tell that I look different? Like I looked even more tan because I looked crazy before. It looks a bit weird on my face. Hopefully when I shower now, that will be fixed. Basically what happened is that as soon as it was done and it kind of soaked in for a bit, we obviously went out for a meal and we had brunch. So I've been out for like five hours or something. So obviously I haven't been able to shower and because of that, the lady who did my spray tan, she said that you can leave it on for a max three hours, but she told me to leave it on for two hours, so I've left it on for more than double that. <laughs> I just can't stop looking at myself. This is just so crazy, and you guys haven't even seen like my legs or anything like, oh my goodness, it's literally looking so crazy. But I think at the moment it's going like a little bit streaky. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna shower and I'm gonna wash this off, and then hopefully that will 
fix me looking a bit crazy and it should help with the streaky but I really want to show you my legs and stuff because it's, it's out of this world <laughs> so this is what my leg looks like so as you can see there's like quite a lot of streaking and stuff like that from where I've obviously been like going outside and it's got a bit wet or something like that like karma sucking on my leg that's what this is from so yeah my legs are looking crazy so I really hope that it's not streaky or anything when I wash it off because it's looking so crazy right now like I just can't stop looking at it like it's crazy I literally look like a completely different person especially now that I've got my hair highlighted like I'm not redhead anymore I've got super tan skin and then I've also got blonde hair so it just looks like I'm an act different person like what <laughs> I really hope that this is gonna be fixed because it just looks like I'm looking at myself in the mirror I don't think it looks nice at the moment like on somebody else would be like an amazing tan on me I'm naturally super pale it just looks a bit much if you know what I mean so I really hope that when I shower this is gonna be fixed because look at my face <laughs> Okay, so I just showered. I think it's looking a lot better already Although I was speaking to mum and she's got a fake tan done before like quite a few times She said basically once you've washed it off She said that it doesn't matter if you leave it on for longer basically she, well It does kind of matter quite often when she would get spray tan She would actually leave it on longer than the professional would say because she wanted it to be really deep Which in a way I kind of do want this to be a really good tan But at the same time I don't want it to be too much because naturally I'm super fair However mum, I guess she's well, I mean, she's pretty. I wouldn't say she's pale, but like she's definitely a lot more tan than me I feel like she'd be able to get away with more of a tan. However, on me, it looks a bit weird When I wake up in the morning, once I've slept in this, it should be looking like it really depends on how it reacts to your skin If it's like, I don't know, it can really depend like it could go more deep or it could go like it just really depends on how it reacts to your skin So I'm interested in seeing how it looks in the morning, but I'm like pretty happy with it Like it's obviously a lot darker than like it's very different. I'm not sure like I like it, but then at the same time it's very different so I'm really happy now that I've washed it off though in my elbows in the inside of my elbow it kind of like went all like streaky and it just didn't look right however now that I've showered it off like I was supposed to anyway so that wasn't like the final look that was just kind of like the guy mum said that was just kind of like the bronzing guy so she could see what she was doing and seeing that it was like evenly applied and then when you wake up in the morning that will be like the actual tan that is like gone into your skin so that's probably why it looked a bit sort of like crazy and and it didn't look right and it went like a bit streaky because obviously I was wearing it and like moving around and stuff like that so now that it's washed off I'm really happy but it's still it's super tan even though I've washed it off but like it's not quite as tan I like this tan on my leg maybe not so much on my face I just feel like it looks a bit weird on like the top part but the rest of my body I do think it looks quite nice so hopefully that will change in the morning I don't know I really like it though it's nice but it's different when I was outside there was almost a little bit embarrassing because I did look a bit like tomatoey so I feel like now I've washed it off it doesn't look quite so tomatoey if you know what I mean I was a bit self-conscious about it but like I just realized it's not it's not that bad it wasn't too bad so it wasn't like super crazy but it was like quite orange so that was funny good morning vehicles are you ready to see me after a whole night of wearing this fake tan Ta -da! i am really liking it now before it just looked a bit weird and sort of like fake like you could tell that i had fake tan on now if you'd have never seen me before i don't know you might not know that i have fake tan on i'm not sure it's definitely looking a lot better in the face anyways maybe it's because i'm wearing more makeup but i just feel like it looks more real it doesn't look all like streaky or like even if it doesn't look real it doesn't look sort of like so bad it doesn't look bad at least i don't think it looks that bad it's just very different to what i'm used to so in comparison to how i looked without this it does look like very fake if you know what i mean but if you maybe if you've never seen me then you might not think i've got something on i'm not sure it does look very very different like i like it but then at the same time i'm like i'm not me anymore i'm not mia i like i don't look like myself i look like someone different i'm a new person now it's really weird <laughs> so actually when i was doing my makeup i was nervous that none of my makeup would like suit me because obviously my skin tone is a lot darker now the fake tan on but surprisingly i could actually use my foundation as a concealer because obviously concealer is naturally like usually when you do it it's a bit lighter than your skin tone so i managed to use my foundation as a concealer which my foundation is usually a little bit darker if not the same color as my natural skin tone so it is like my skin has changed quite a bit however i feel like quite a lot of it has 
washed off on my face because I've had another shower this morning. It's looking a lot better. Would I get this again though? I don't know. I kind of like it in a way that I don't feel like I have to wear as much makeup because it kind of like the main reason why I wear makeup or like foundation is to even out my skin tone because the fake tan has been put on it. It kind of like has like it's already kind of done that effect for me like I don't really need to wear much makeup which in a way is kind of nice because I guess it means that my skin can breathe although not really because my whole skin everywhere is covered in like something covering it up however usually it's just my face but luckily i forgot to tell you this the fake tan that i used was all vegan and it was also organic so it won't be too bad for my skin because i was like a little bit nervous that i might you know break out or it would just like feel very itchy or anything like that but luckily that hasn't happened like my skin is just the same as normal when i wake up so i'm happy about that because i was nervous that i was going to be like super sweaty because obviously like i guess you could say that all my pores are kind of clogged up a little bit i'm not really Pretty sure if there's actually like much product left on or if it's just like stained now that I've had two showers since putting it on I'm not sure I feel like there's probably a bit of both like it's staining and then also it's been like there's still a little bit of product left maybe it would take a couple of days for the whole product to come off and then it would just be like the stain left and then it would be like a lot lighter in terms of wherever I'd get this again though maybe for like a special occasion I think maybe if like at my wedding or something like that but that's obviously in like 15 years or whatever so like that's gonna be in a long long time <laughs> I don't think I would go as dark as I have gone now I think I would like go lighter or at least I'd get the fake tan done a couple of days before the special day or like the special occasion it's weird I look in the mirror and I look in I'm looking in the viewfinder and I literally cannot stop looking because I just look I don't look like me or any more miracles guys comment down below what you think of this I like it but then at the same time on me like on someone else I think this would look really nice like this is a really pretty tan but on me it's just not normal and it's very different very out of my comfort zone if you know what i mean so guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you are new around here make sure to click subscribe to become a hashtag miracle i will see you guys in my next video bye i love you Mwah.